Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Warren, the school librarian over at West Elementary. And today I'm gonna to be doing another group of book talks and I'm gonna be focusing again on the store sweet reads. These are the books that many people can read all at the same time that have unlimited checkouts. These were our summer reading titles that they're giving to us a little bit early. And they're gonna be available from um, April all the way till the very end of July. All of these ones are found on the very top ribbon when you first come over here. You're going to see that I see 31 books, but that's because I can see all the ones for the high school, the middle school, and the elementary. When you come over here, you're just going to get to see the elementary ones. So I'm going to go through a bunch of these ones. And what's great is that if you like this book and you want to suggest it to another friend, they can be reading it along with you because we have what's called um, multi-use um, permissions for this, which means everybody at the whole school could be reading the same book at the same time. So I'm going to start with one that is right here on the top of the cover, The Diary of an 8-Bit Warrior. Um, this is a great book if you are a fan of Minecraft, the video um, game where you get to build stuff. And what's really neat is that this is all about Runt. He is a character on Minecraft, and he is supposed to become a villager who can decide if he wants to be a farmer or a crafter or a miner, but Runt is like, I don't want to do that. I want to be a warrior like his hero, whose name is Steve. And he decides that he's going to become that by going into a special warrior training uh, class because if he's in the top five best students, he gets the chance to do it. So he's like, I'm going to go for this. I'm not going to be just a regular farmer. I'm going to be something important and exciting. And it's all about his adventure to be that warrior. So if you're a fan of Minecraft and you love seeing the different parts of the game showing up in a story, this might be a great one for you to explore. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is Phoebe and Her Unicorn. And that one is also right here on the front. This is a graphic novel. And I have to say it's pretty hilarious. I own this series of graphic novels at my library, the regular book version. And I'm so happy to see that they added them to the summer um, Sore Sweet Reads. Phoebe is the main character. One day she is at a pond and she's trying to skip stones and she accidentally smacks, or I should say whacks a unicorn right in the face with a stone. And you think that the unicorn would be super upset, which is not super happy about it, but it gives her a wish. And Phoebe asks that the unicorn be her friend forever um, and that she has to be her best friend. And the unicorn is like, really? That's, that's what you want? And Phoebe's like, yeah, I want you to be my best friend. But... She doesn't realize that this unicorn is actually kind of full of herself. She thinks she's the best thing that's ever happened because she's a unicorn. And it's hilarious seeing how the two of them try to be friends with one another because um, Phoebe's kind of quiet and doesn't really understand how special she is. And the unicorn is quite sure that she's the best thing that's ever happened in the world. And so they have a lot of funny adventures together. It's a very silly book. And it's got a really nice mix of uh, fantasy put in there. So definitely something to explore if you'd like a funny graphic novel. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is also a good laugh. This one I'm going to search for because I don't see it in the first part, but I'm going to type in dinosaur. And that is because we're going to be looking at the Dinosaur Boy series. And this one is right over here. It's written by Corey um, Putman Oaks, and it's all about a boy named Sawyer. And Sawyer's family is a little unusual because when they reach a certain age, every once in a while, somebody in their family starts to grow dinosaur parts. Um, his <laughs> grandfather was part Stegosaurus, and he realized in fifth grade that he is beginning to get sp um, spikes and a tail, just like his grandfather. It is a very, very seriously hilarious story about what it would be like if you all of a sudden started to grow dinosaur parts and what it would be like to have to play in different like sports stuff in class and what it would be like to go around school when you got a tail following behind you. This is definitely a neat, silly story um, with a lot of crazy imagination involved. I mean, I can only imagine what it would be like to turn into a dinosaur. And this might be a really fun one if you kind of want to see what that would be like. So neat one. Um, main characters in fifth grade. Really, really silly. And there's also a little bit of a like mystery involving his principal if you want to explore that too. All right. So next one I'm going to show you is Stray to Star. And this is more of a realistic fiction book. It's this one right here by um, Miesh Goldish. 
What's neat about this one is that it's all about a boy named Corey. He moves to a town called Houndtown. And as he's going around his neighborhood, he really just wants to meet somebody and become friends with someone. And he hears a little noise in the bushes. When he comes around, he realizes that there is a dog there. And he takes the dog home because he's worried that it's not being taken care of because it's a um, homeless dog. And they become best friends. And it's all about their adventures that they have and how um, animals from shelters can really be taken care of and treated better. So this one's a great one if you want a little bit of realistic fiction. I love this one too if you're a fan of animals. So this one would be a great one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Puppy Place series. If you're a fan of those ones, this might be a great fit for you too. All right, we have one more book I'm going to be showing you today, and this one is a classic tale. That means it's one that's been around for a very long time, and I'm going to be putting in the word rabbit for this one. And when I search for that, I'm going to see the tale of Peter Rabbit, okay? This was written and illustrated by Beatrix Potter, and I just love the illustrations in this book. You can't go wrong um, with a classic story like this one, and What's neat, too, is that it talks about the history of Beatrix Potter as well. She was from England, and she wrote a lot of these books um, for children, and she actually uh, wrote the very first one for a little boy who was sick. She wanted him to have something special to be able to enjoy. So this is a great one if you want to see a little bit more about a classic tale like Peter Rabbit. I own all of the books in my library myself, and I have to say they're a really, really fun adventures with that rabbit and his little blue coat. So if you want a good picture book to be able to explore, this is a great one for you, too. I hope that you're getting a lot of really good reading in at home and that you're being safe and taking care of yourself. I wish you all a great day and over the next couple weeks I'll continue to have more book reviews on the library page and I'm also going to be posting um, read alouds and really good websites so keep your eyes open for some good choices on my library page.